Today's topic, actually the topic was about British fighter pilots, but then I found this. Exclusive former U.S. military pilot who worked in China, arrested in Australia, which is native to the Wombat, faces extradition. Uh, a former U.S. military pilot and flight instructor who worked in China was arrested in Australia. Uh, we, we won't blast the dude's name, even though you can read it if you'd like. I just read it. Um, it an arrest individual was arrested on 21 October 2022 uh, from the United States of America. It was their provisional arrest? He was. Uh, this dude was a, a Harrier jump jet pilot in the Marines yeah. and a combat air combat instructor, which it's kind of a you know, I don't know, in a Harrier? Uh, they have it, right? He moved to the Aussie land after a decade in the military and started a business called Top Gun Tasmania, hiring former U.S. and British military pilots to offer tourist joy rides and fighter jets. Company records show aviation sources uh, confirm. I mean, you know, I don't know the guy, obviously, but come on, man. You don't go help the other team, right? I mean, that's day one, right? Like, there's not a dollar amount that they could pay me to go help the enemy. Because that's, well, you know, that's, so that's U.S. and coalition lives at stake giving away secrets. Now, granted, he probably doesn't know the latest and greatest. And the Harrier training probably wasn't the most advanced. I mean, so he's not giving away, like, F-35 secrets, let's be honest. But... There's principle. Well, we don't even we don't even know what he's doing. So, like, there's a lot of vague. He's there to train, but we don't. You know, I haven't seen anything that says what they're training. Like, are they the T six primary instructors doing you sure. know undergraduate pilot training level thing? Are they you know teaching IFF style basic fighter maneuvers and basic surface attack, or are they out there teaching beyond visual range air combat maneuvering, all that stuff? Um, so we really don't know kind of the scope of things. Obviously, it's it's something because he wants to be arrested, although my gut tells me he wasn't arrested for that. There's probably something else going on. And because this is what's in the news, that's what makes headlines. There's something else happening. Um, I will say that previously, and you know this, um, during the like lost decade of the airlines, a lot of people, even up to like the last 10 years, five years, would go to China and fly airlines. Like there was sure. a big push for expats um, to go fly. Now, people that were like, because I remember like I was 2016, 2017, they were up $300,000 a year to come be a captain. The problem with that, though, is they have no work rules whatsoever. And people mm -hmm. came back and said, I'm just happy to be here. So Correct. Um, that part, you know, for the, I'm going to remove this because it's in the way now. Um, however, China is not our friend, no matter, you know, however many trolls want to say that, you know, we're, we're, they're, they're not our friend. They're not, we're, we're not, we are not friendly with, we're not I cool. mean, we are friendly economically, you know, we are there, we trade with them, but the, we are not, um, they're not a NATO country. You know, they're not a country that, you know, we would consider our allies and they are a threat. They're a threat economically. They're a threat militarily, uh, you know, foreign policy wise, Taiwan, all that stuff is a threat. And you should not give aid and comfort to a potential enemy. So regardless of the money. Now, there's always going to be people that are like, well, you know, Money gets whatever. Um, you know, that's more important than anything. They're going to pay or whatever. But like you said, there, sh there shouldn't be enough money to make you want to go aid a country like that. I agree. Enough said. Yeah. No yeah. way. Not enough money on this planet. Um, I don't like, I said, but we just, we just don't know. No, don't you don't know. know I, I, I would need, I would like to, you know, I'd, I'd kind of be interested to see legally, you know, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know, not that you need to be a lawyer to know the rules, but I, I would like to know what the, 
what the legality of, I mean, when you got your retirement brief, you know, what were your limitations as far as employment? Because he's not associated with the U.S. government anymore, right? He's, he's a, you know, he moved to Australia. So what, what is the legal well, scope of this? Agreed. Do you, um, is he even retired? I don't How long did he do? In yeah, the yeah. It, it said X. He, he had already well, he X, moved to Australia. Well, he moved to Australia. He, you're not in the military sure, if you're living in Australia. My point being is, did he go through a full 20 um, or did he just, you know, do a tour and get out and then move on? I, I don't know. I, it, there's too yeah. many holes in the story to know the whole thing. And much like we don't speculate on crashes and things like that um, until all the facts are out. That being said, um, it would be hard pressed for me to to look at somebody who's doing that if it does, in fact, emulate what this article is saying, um, which to me reads as teaching in a non U.S. sanctioned, NATO sanctioned way, right? Because, um, like you said, he could be teaching T six training. Well, maybe, but then likely he's probably not going to get arrested for that. So there's more to this story, um, and I don't believe we're teaching in a T six way to the Chinese. So um, the well, point whatever, being you know, is, I mean, it, no, no, no. I'm just my training. point. My point being is that um, you know, with the way it reads, with the information that we have right now. I'd be hard pressed for you to give me a justification for doing that. Yeah. I, and this person, so this is, it's very muddy, right? Because he's not like you or me living in the United States, saw an ad and said, you know what? I'm in. I can't wait to go help the Chinese. This was a dude that had already left, was not living in the United States, had set up a business somewhere else and in another country. Now, friendly country, but it's still another country. And then from there, the nexus was, let's go to China and do whatever. So I, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I obviously, you know, you're, you're still bound to keep all the secrets that you learned. You know, you're, you're, you're still bound by all of that, non-disclosure agreements and all that stuff. So, you know, you, you can't do that, but, um, I, I doubt there was a security threat in what he did, but I don't think what he did was right either. Agreed. You know, I think I Agreed. think it's you know might be one of those like donut operator says lawful but awful. You know, it might be, but they're obviously going after him for something. You know, that, that if he's now will the charges stick? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Michael says probably an ITAR violation, which it could be. I don't. We we don't have enough information about that. I would say. Again, don't don't give aid and comfort to our enemies. You know, if, if it's somebody that we could potentially face in the future, don't give aid and comfort to our enemies, period. Doesn't matter how much money there is. Don't do that.